I just wanted to rise to respond to a couple things that my colleague from West Los Angeles and my colleague from Fullerton said. Uh, our, my colleague from Fullerton said that uh, we're doing something that which we have no control over because we're just condemning a Supreme Court decision. My colleague from West LA said that this is the beginning of action. Well, I just wanted to stress that uh, today we're voting on a AJR 22, but uh, my good colleagues uh, who've introduced this measure along with me have introduced AJR 32. AJR 32 takes advantage of a procedure outlined in Article 5 of the United States Constitution that's been tried a few times in the history of this great nation that actually allows states to initiate a constitutional amendment. So we are doing action. We are taking action. AGR 32 will come up for a vote in a few weeks. It's, uh, is, I, I want to be very clear. AGR 32, we are, today we are joining other states and condemning the decision. But AGR 32 will come up. It will actually give us an opportunity to start a national movement to force Congress to call a constitutional convention to address this matter. So turning to the merits of this matter real quick, I address these comments to my colleagues from across the aisle. Some of you have expressed on this floor profound respect for the United States Constitution. Some of you have expressed viewpoints that you describe as originalist, which means that you believe the Constitution should be read in the way that our founding fathers would have read it when it was passed decades ago. When our Constitution was, was promulgated, there were very, very few corporations. As a matter of fact, in the United States, you could probably count them on two hands. Most corporations were run by the government at the time. These were things like the British East Indies Corporation. They were government-sponsored corporations. And the notion that these entities would have the same free speech rights as an individual would have been taken as patently absurd, folks. Patently absurd. That's like saying that, I mean, you know, if, if the wealthy have greater free speech rights than you and I, well then, you know, that's like saying that the greater religious rights should go to the guy with the bigger Bible. It just doesn't make sense. So I ask for an I vote.